Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to find the domain of the linear function f of x equals 2x minus 3. Um, so first of all, we need to understand, you know, what is our domain? Well, our domain is the set of all x values, or our input values, that are going to make our uh, function true. So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at what this graph would look like. And if I was going to write this up, that would mean have y-intercept of negative 3, and it goes up over 2 is my slope. So roughly my graph is going to look something like this. Now remember, I have these arrows, meaning that this line is going to extend infinitely up and to the right and down to the left, right? Now, if you look at this, there is... Now, all right, I'll just continue these lines. I don't want to confuse anybody. Okay, but what you notice here is there's absolutely no breaks in my graph, right? This is continuous infinitely to the right and infinitely down. So there's never, ever going to be a break. So therefore, you could say that every x value, when x equals 1, there's a value. When x equals 2, I have a value, right? When x equals 3, I have a value. When x equals negative 1, 2, 3, I have a value. For all of my values of x, there is a point on my function that has a y value, right? That, so I have a, um, for every input, which is my x, I have an output, all right? There's no breaks in my graph. So there's a couple times when functions... Um, there's a couple functions, you know, that have, uh, have, um, have restrictions, right? If you could say, like, uh, the function f of x equals 1 over x. Well, this graph, we know, cannot, where x cannot equal 0, right? So, therefore, in this graph, you cannot have 0 would not be a part of the graph. Or if you had the function of f of x equals the square root of x, where you cannot say x... Um, has to be greater than zero, meaning any number cannot be less than zero, right? Because therefore, there's no value. You can't take the square root of a negative number, nor can you divide by zero. For this linear function, we have no restrictions. Every number that I plug in for x, I get an output value, right? So therefore, what we can say is the domain is all the real numbers. All real numbers value for x. So you could say it goes from negative infinity to infinity, meaning all x values negative infinity to all the positive x values to infinity are going to be a part of our range. No matter what number I plug in for x, I will get an output. Therefore, it is all real numbers is the domain.